Hi everyone, this is Rob Lodiger, and I'd like to share with you my idea for creating easy custom feedback layer buttons. And as many of you know, if you go into the View menu and hit Feedback Master at the top, you can control all of the feedback layers that are displayed automatically by Articulate Storyline um, and control their design a little bit. And under the Master Feedback Layer, you have a layer devoted to correct feedback if the person gets it incorrect and you want to move them on, you have that. If the person gets multiple attempts, you can display try again feedback automatically. And um, there's a review feedback if you're giving a quiz. And then even feedback for survey type items where you're just um, asking them to complete the item and to confirm that. And um, one thing that you may know is for items that have a continue button like the uh, correct layer, and the incorrect layer, you don't see the word continue on these um, masters. Instead, you just have a placeholder that will become a button later on. And um, that's pretty easy to customize. But if you want to try again button, like this layer, again, you're only going to see a placeholder. And um, it's very difficult to create a customized try again button without having to um, do extra work on the actual feedback layer. So I found a way to make your cut continue buttons and your try again buttons customized really easily without having to do extra work on the feedback layers themselves. So I'm first going to come up here to my feedback master, the master um, slide, and I'm going to click on the placeholder that's going to become a button. And I'm actually, my goal is to make this button essentially disappear but still function. So the first step is to click on it and go up here to format the font and I want to change the size to 0 0.5. Yes, you heard me right. And you can see on your screen it, it becomes almost invisible, just a um, few dots of text. And that change is transferred everywhere else where you see the placeholder. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to click back on that placeholder for the button and I want to um, make the fill color transparent. So I right click on it and I hit format shape which brings up this dialog and I'm going to drag transparency of the fill color all the way to 99 not to 100 but to 99 and I want to go ahead and give it a line color I know this seems a little odd but roll with it um, again to 99 not to 100 and then I'm going to close that so I have a button that is essentially transparent and has the teeniest, tiniest little uh, font text in there. Now I'm going to double click Format Painter and I'm going to click every other instance of that button and when I do it takes on the same formatting. For some reason the transparency doesn't um, transfer to the other layers. Now here's where it gets interesting and the try again layer is the most troublesome. So I'm going to insert a button right here and you can make it any size or shape or whatever that you like. I'm just going to call this the custom try again button and if all works well I can take this button placeholder that's automatically generated and align it right on top of the button that I just drew and it's okay if it's not really on top of the button in your timeline don't worry about that so now if I have a try again layer I should see this big custom button and I should be able to click it and it will function like the automatic button so I'm going to go to my initial thing I'm going to insert a try a true and false item here's the dialogue I'm just going to say prompt answer is going to be true. Let's give two attempts. So we have a try again layer. And here's my try again layer and I cannot see the continue button anymore even though it's right there. In fact if you zoom in you can see those teeny tiny dots of text there um, but they're essentially invisible. So let's preview this project in the last few moments. I'm going to jump ahead to my interaction. I'm going to mark it false. There's my try again layer, customized, and if I hit it, I get to try my item again. I hope this works for y'all. Thanks for watching.